Aloha, YouTubers. Hi, I'm Rock, and I'm coming back at you another live stream. And in today's live stream, I have a box. Now, are you ready? Uh, uh, are you are you ready for an unboxing? But first thing first, the trusty razor. Remember, folks, when handling shop objects or razors, please be careful to not injure yourself or cut yourself. And for those who are under the age of 18, please get your parents permission. Now let's go do this unboxing. So. Obviously, if you read the description box below or you read the title on this uh, live stream, you kind of have an idea what I'm unboxing. And what I'm unboxing is, oh God, is it RC four-wheel drive? I think it's a mini Warren, mini Warren, Warren, nine point five uh, winch. So here it is. I'll be installing this onto my Traxxas TRX4 2021 Ford Bronco. Uh, I think this is the only winch that's able to fit onto the C D Chan or C Han uh, front bumper that I installed on my uh, Traxxas TRX4 Ford Bronco. Uh, hey Jose, how's it going, my friend? Bonjour. So yeah. So I also do have the link in the description box below if you want to go, you know, check it out uh, to the A-Main Hobbies website. Um, it, I am an affiliate partner with A-Main Hobbies, so if you do click on the link below and if you do end up purchasing something on the A-Main Hobbies website, I do get some kind of uh, commission. <laughs> and that'd be much, very much appreciated. Uh, you don't have to. Don't feel obligated. It is what it is. So it looks like we got bags of screws right here. Um, and here's the winch up close. A bit focus. Focus. <laughs> Let me put my face. <laughs> Sorry for the glare. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, small little guy. So. They also have the remote control. Uh, you have to purchase that separately. Uh, the winch alone costs $34.99 before taxes, before shipping. Um, I think I'm going to have to modify this one. So I'll probably end up changing out this JST connector and installing a different connector because I purchased this winch. I bought this winch on AliExpress. <laughs> I really liked it. It's really cool. It's a lot bigger than this one. Um, size comparison. Again, up close view. <laughs> focus, focus. Right. Good. This one is twice as bigger than this one. And this one feels a lot heavier and a lot beefier. And originally I was planning to put this onto my TRX4 Ford Bronco. But yeah, the mounts are totally different. But uh, but on the the C C C Chan or C C Chan, I don't know Chan um, bumper that I got it said this this particular RC full drive winch. This one and another one. Uh, this one will fit perfectly onto the bumper without any mods. So which is cool. Um, yeah, so it's like there's no doesn't come with any nuts. So it's gonna be an interesting install. Right? Yeah. Yeah, very interesting install. Then I have to turn on the main light, so I'll be right back.
yeah, I forget. I guess I forgot to point out that um, one thing great about this one is that uh, it does come with the uh, remote that you can connect, or that uh, module where you can connect it directly to your receiver, and you can control the winch um, to your one of your um, you can either with a three position switch or the two position switch on your uh, transmitter. So we have the TX4 Bronco right here. And I'll be taking this out on the trails real soon. I just was waiting for, uh, for the winch. Um, so yeah, it fits perfectly on, but I'm not too sure like how I'm gonna mount this. Just have a neutral. No neutral. Uh, it's like. Move the hook. And I guess I can just leave it on like that. Huh? Yeah, no harm, no fall. Yeah, so uh, I guess like um, we don't need the, the mounting bracket. So it looks like you mount this directly onto and then I guess I didn't need to have to untie it. Yeah, so just retie this back. Yeah, they don't. They, they don't make this thing uh, like easy to uh, Yeah, they don't make it easy. They don't make it easy. So it's like yeah, it looks like it's, it that's it just mounts directly onto it. Uh, you don't have to use a mounting plate, which is great. But it, the mounting bracket to mount it onto the bumper. So it's just basically a straight shot. That's not going to work. Try again. Mm. All right. 
right. Let's see. That'll hold it for now. Just gas it up. Right. <clears throat> Hope you folks having a great Sunday. So what I'm doing is removing the this mounting plate right here. And I'm losing all the screws. Using all oh, the screws. I don't think I'll be using those screws anyway. Right. So it looks like I may need it. Yeah. Maybe these screws are not going to work. There we go, yo. What's up with the scenario? Alright, just use these screws for now. Okay, we got one screw in. <laughs> now we can flip it upside down. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Amazing, amazing, simply amazing. Now we just gotta find those two other screws. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, where, oh, where could you be? Oh, here's the other one. Oh. Simply amazing, guys. Simply amazing. Now, where's the fourth one? Where did you go? Where did you run to? Where did you hide?
okay. Oh well. I'll, I'll look for it off, off, off stream. Here we have it. <clears throat> Travel. <laughs> so, are we able? To get you out on the hook. There we go. Me just dangling down. Oh, I know what I can do. And there you go. So, there you go. Uh, focus, focus. Can you focus? There you go. <laughs> uh, there you go. So, it, it's in there. It's mounted on. So, let me go ahead and put the body back on. The only thing is like uh, because the the, the TRX four they don't have enough uh, you know. The receiver has a lot of channels. I think it's like a seven channel receiver. Um, the only thing that the, the remote itself transmitter, um, you know, it doesn't have enough channels or switches to control the winch via remote or via the transmitter so yeah so there we have it we got a winch um you know i know you can't see it as much but right there so pretty cool that's how it looks like with the body on so yeah liking it whoops so what i'll probably end up doing is a um Installing a three position switch because it does like come with a uh, three position switch, comes with this. And then um, I can connect it directly to um, I can actually connect it. Well, 
Okay, so I was able to find me the goodies. Oh yeah, my TX4 looks complete now. So with the radio link, right? It comes with this telemetry connector. If you want to hook up uh, telemetry, right here. Um, so basically, um, yeah, this connect this to here and this to the ESC. But oh. well, uh, maybe not. I think I'm gonna have to be. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <coughs> I, yeah, I, I, it can make it work, but, um, so yeah, so, like, this is the wiring harness, you want to connect the, um, the winch directly to the, um, receiver, and, uh, control the winch via, um, your transmitter, if you have enough, uh, channels, yeah, you like or extra pos uh, two position or three position switch or mo momentary switch, I guess. Um, some people like to call it. So connect it uh, to this uh, winch right here. <clears throat> then connect to connect it right here to your receiver to re whichever position switch, switch <coughs> whichever switch or channel you want to use use to control uh, the winch, and it will work via um, like I said uh, directly to the receiver. You don't have to connect it to a, a power source. And then also you could, if you wanted to use a three position switch, or in this case, two position, it's a three position. So right here, um, the only thing is that you have to connect this directly to a battery. Um, so, or you connect the winch directly to a battery. So. And here, voila. Then you connect this to the battery, and this will be controlled from here. Um, so like I said, nothing great. Like I said, you could use this type of setup if you have a radio link, right? And this, you can, so yeah, that to the receiver. This setup right here, which is cool. And you know, you can control the winch uh, with this three position switch. That way, you don't need an extra battery. You can use the, you know, use your one light bulb battery to power your not only your RC but your winch, um, or you can just get a uh, you know, separate battery, <clears throat> like a small one, like a like a receiver pack size battery, and then you know. Connected directly to a battery. Um, one thing great is like the uh, the TRX4. It's the 2020. Well, I mean, I guess all TRX4. Um, you can. There's a battery mount right in the front. So you know, you just have to uh, strap it on. Uh, strap your lipo battery on. Yeah, strap your yeah. Strap your lipo battery uh, to the front. Um, but let's say if you have something like this set up, then you're good to go. Um, I'll probably make a, I think I, I do have extra TRX, TRX, uh, Traxxas connectors. Um, but that's no problem. I could, you know, like, like I, you know, I could easily just make one. Yeah, so, yes, I guess I'll show you folks, but. Yeah, see, like for this, I have to just, this is a different JST plug, so I have to just change it out, which is not a problem, and it's something I'm willing to do, yeah, such a small winch, but yeah, I mean, realistically, that's the size of the winch, and like, when you put it on a real scale car, that's it. so right there, like, the battery, uh, battery mount, as you can see, you can put like a um, Velcro strap right through the holes. Then you can tie your little uh, receiver battery 
and then you can connect it directly to the uh, winch and control it from there if you don't want to you know unless like I said you have this type of um, setup so this setup is not uh, specifically made for the TRX uh, 4 because the TRX 4 has Traxxas connectors on the ESC side right here right ESC uh, Traxxas connector so um, unless you unless you're willing to change out the connectors and use XT60 connectors yeah, totally, totally fine. But um, yeah, I think I I do have the adapter um, to uh, co convert this to a XT60 without modifying it or cutting it out and soldering a new um, XT60 connector. But yeah, right there. So now we have my winch. Um, I don't. Honestly, I think like I'm not gonna probably. It's more for decorations, I guess, than it, it for for to have to actually it to function, I guess. And I should say, I guess. Yeah, it's more for, the witch is more for looks than the, it is for functionality, so you know. Just gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna hide this, these wires. Guess I could always go underneath here. Yeah, the, I mean, I if 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 the if the. If the remote had enough switches, you know, or extra switches, like a, you know, then that'd be, that would have been cool. That would have been great, um, but it doesn't. So, you know, you got to make do with what you have. So, in regards to the functionality, I mean, I mean the RC4 driver, even on A-Main Hobbies website, you can get the, like I said, the, the remote, uh, but it just costs too much. I, I, you know, for me, it wasn't worth um, purchasing it. All right, Jose, see you later. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Appreciate it. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, so you, 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 yeah, if you don't have this type of setup, you, don't, you know, you, you can always buy the, the, um, the remote along with the winch, the RC4 drive. They, you know, they do, it does come, uh, you can buy the remote separately. I think they also can come buy it as a combo. Um, but because I already had this setup, you know, I didn't need it. So, but yeah, that's it for this live stream. I'd like to thank Jose again for stopping by and joining in the chat. So, I guess that's it. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess. That's it for this live stream. Till my next live stream of VOD. Take care and aloha. Shaka. And I'm out.